Hey there, my name is Kathy, and I want to welcome you to my channel, Crafty Kathy. I thank you so much for being here. I am tickled pink, guys. If you've never been here before, I want to give you a great big thank you, thank you for spending some time with me. And those of you that are my subscribers that are returning, I love you guys. Thank you so much for returning. But without further ado, let's jump into these projects so you can see what I've been cooking up for you this week. DIY number one is this adorable Mickey Mouse rag wreath. I started off with a whole bunch of these different fabrics that I got from Walmart, but I only chose three to do my rag wreath. I cut them at six inches long by one and a half wide. So each one of these pieces of material is 18 inches long. So when I stretched it out and looked at it, I decided to cut it into six inch strips, which would give me three because it's 18 inches long. So I went down the six inch marks and then I turned it sideways and what I'm going to do is cut it in one and a half inch strips. That just means that each tie, each little knot is going to be one and a half inches wide. Now, if I had it to do over, I'll, I may even do it at one inch. I wouldn't recommend doing it at two inches because it seems like it's a little thick and it's a little bit harder to tie. Okay, I've got these wreath forms that come from the Dollar Tree. I ended up with my three stacks of ribbon. And what we're going to do is this outer ring, the very outer ring. Basically, all you do is tie it. I'll slow the video down so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just tying it and we're going to do only the outer ring on this project. Now, the traditional rag wreath, you would do all three rings. You would do the outer, the middle, and the inner ring. But I have a little surprise that we are going to put in the middle of this ring. So, we are only doing the outer ring. And there's three sections to that outer ring. So, it took me about 25 ties on each little section. So I have about 75 little ribbons here on just the outer ring. I left quite a bit of footage in so you could see just how easy it was. All you're doing is just tying it around the ring and moving to the next one. But like I said, each little section I had around 25. Some of them had one or two less maybe. Guys, I was going to do my brand new craft studio reveal on this video, but this video turned out to be way too long with the reveal on it. So, if you guys go to my channel after this video, my craft room video will be on there so you still get to see it. I just couldn't fit it in one video because I didn't want to scare anybody off with a 46 minute video. They'll be thinking, good Lord, this lady's always got these long videos like this. I ain't sticking around with her. <laughs> so if you do want to see my craft room reveal, just go to my channel. I'll leave the link. So this is what it's going to look like when you finish the outer ring. And I got these plates at the Dollar General for $1.75. What we're going to do, since we just did the outer ring, we're going to put this Mickey Mouse plate in this rag wreath and you're never going to know it's a plate. It is the cutest little rag wreath. So I took one of these little pokey things. I'm not sure what they're called. It's from the Dollar Tree and I just created two little holes and then I used one of those embossing tools to make it just a little bit bigger. You can use a pen or whatever and I poked two holes in it so that I could stick my tie wraps down in there and secure it to that ring. So when I got everything secured down, I just clipped off the back of my little zip ties. I call them tie wraps, but clipped the ends of them off, and then I gave everything a good fluffing. 
So I got this berry bush from Walmart and it's red, blue, and silver. And what I did was pulled off one red, one blue, one silver, and I'm gonna use my tie wraps to secure those together. And I'm just going to use another zip ties to secure those to the very back of the wreath. I took this little USA foam sign and I just secured it to the back of the wreath underneath the rings. I glued and taped a little jute cord on the back for a hanger. I took one of those hula skirts and I wrapped it around itself after I cut a piece of it off for makeshift raffia. Um, it's kind of hard to find raffia right now in my Dollar Tree, so these hula skirts are a great alternative. I just took some jute twine and I tied a simple bow and I glued it to the top and then I took one of those little blue balls and a star that came off of one of the USA tags. I stuck that right in the middle of my makeshift raffia for a glorious finish, guys. Today, I am proud to be a part of a Plaid Ambassador collaboration. And those of us that are Plaid Ambassadors are doing a playlist. It's got some very talented ladies in it. And I hope that you go and watch all the rest of them. I'm going to put the link in the description box below so you can go to the playlist and watch every one. We're going to talk about that just a little bit more later on in the video. And I have a secret word to give you. That way you can enter into the giveaway, so stick around so you can find out how to win. But for right now, you have to like the video. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, man. You're going to love it over here. I really do hope that you will subscribe, and I'm so happy that you came to spend your time with me today. I hope you're enjoying DIY number two is going to be this Freedom USA standing sign. Gorgeous. I have one of the 8x10 canvas frames that I had ripped the canvas off of already. And I'm just going to give it a good coat of this Waverly Antique Wax. With I wipe it on with a rag and then I just wipe off the excess. And then I have eight large popsicle sticks. It's the great big ones from Walmart. I'm going to paint half of them with the crimson from Waverly and the other half with the white from Waverly. And of course I'm using my plaid paint brushes because they are the bomb. I don't use anything else except for those. Only my distressing brushes are different. So I just cut the very ends off of the popsicle sticks and then I glued them down, one white, one red, and I alternated all the way to the end. And then when I got to the end, I had just a tiny little bit uh, that I needed to put the white on, so I had to cut it in half. But when you first cut it, you can just snap it right down the middle. So that's what I did and I placed it on there. I found some of the rub on transfers at Dollar Tree and they are patriotic. I'm so in love with these. I cut the large word out that said freedom and we're gonna try to put these down. I had one of my subscribers tell me that these didn't work, but I believe it really depends on what type of material that you're using it on because it worked fine for me, but I went really slow because this is glitter and it's going to pull up if you're not very, very careful. You have to be very slow and very careful. So I, I used the just the end of that little popsicle stick and kind of rubbed it in and it came out beautiful. And then I put my part that said USA and it has an eagle and I'm putting that down toward the bottom. You can use a Cricut tool, an old credit card. I mean, I even use the end of that popsicle stick. You can use anything to burnish these. Some people even use their fingernails. So this one turned out awesome also. And then I had We The People that was um, just a small little section there. So I put it up toward the top. I'm using Folk Art Admiral Blue, which is a beautiful dark blue color. 
and I have some stars that came off of one of those USA tags and I'm just going to give them two good coats. It takes two coats to cover them up. And then I just glued them in random spots all over my sign. I took my little plaid chippy brush and I distressed this with some antique Waverly wax. And I took one of my Sola wood flowers and I'm going to use my distressing brush just to put a little bit of blue around that. Then I distress it with just a little bit of red just on the tips. Then I cut the very end of that off and I'm going to glue it down in the bottom right hand corner. I took my thicker jute twine that I get from Walmart and I wrapped it around my wrist about, oh, 10 times. And then I just secured it in the middle with some more jute twine. And then I just take my scissors and I cut the ends of it off, which causes it to look like a little messy bow, kind of. If you watch my channel often, you know that this is one of my favorite types of bows to make. I also had some of the red, white, and blue different uh, little small twine, and I wrapped it around my hand about 20 times so I could get a pretty good sized uh, bow, and I did the exact same thing. I tied it in the middle, and then I'm going to cut the ends of it off so it will be frayed. This turned out looking like a cute little firework. First, I did my blue. I hot glued it in the center of my jute little messy ribbon. And then I did the exact same thing with the red. And I'm going to place those in opposite directions. That way it actually looked like a little firework when it was finished. It was so cute. Then I painted another one of my stars with that Admiral Blue. And I'm going to place it right in the center of my little makeshift firework. I have one of the little red trucks that came off of one of the welcome signs and I'm going to put two Jenga blocks so it will come out like a 3D effect and I'm just going to glue that up in a catty corner fashion and then I take my antique Waverly wax and I distress it really good. And I have this candlestick that I took outside and painted with this ink blue by the Rust-Oleum. And I have four Jenga blocks that were already glued together. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit of the antique wax on them. Then I'm going to take and glue my Jenga blocks down to the candlestick. And I am just going to put my picture upright and then secure it with a little bit more glue. And this is it, guys. I think it's gorgeous. Today's plaid collaboration has so many talented ladies. It's going to be awesome. And you got to go check out this playlist. I will put it in the description box below. It's put on by Indiana Jones. Guys, she's a character. If you have not watched her yet, you guys need to go and check her out. She's amazing. She dresses up as all these different characters. She does cosplay. She has some of the neatest DIYs that I have seen. I absolutely love her. She is very amazing and very talented. So I'm going to leave this playlist in the description box below. Go down and check it out. We're going into DIY number three, which is going to be this gorgeous flower arrangement. And it's reversible. I started off with a little box from the Goodwill and a scarf and a wind sock from the Dollar Tree. When I get everything mapped out, I'm just going to put a good thick layer of Mod Podge down and just uh, get it really good and coated. 
Then I just take my scarf and I place it right over the top. If you're going to use this scarf, just be careful because it's really thin and it will like split on you. Not split, but you know how your pantyhose get runners? <laughs> These scarves from the Dollar Tree get runners also. So I put some Mod Podge on the outside of it too when I finish that. I just take and cut off the excess because all we're doing is the sides that's going to be showing. Then I turned my little box around and I did the exact same thing to the opposite side. I put down my Mod Podge. I put down my scarf. And then I put another layer of Mod Podge, and then I'm going to let it thoroughly, thoroughly dry after I cut off the excess. I took my wind sock, and I just split it right up the middle where it had the seam, and then on the other side, I just cut it. So you actually get two pictures because, you know, it's got the same picture on both sides. So you're going to get two of the picture that's on the wind sock, which is the cutest little picture. It says, Faith, Family, and Friends. And it has a puppy dog in the red truck. I simply cut out around the picture of the truck. And I'm going to place it right over the top of the scarf. And then I'm going to put more Mod Podge on the top. And use my fingers to smooth it down to get it to stick really well. I hope you guys want to get in on the giveaway. We're giving away $100 worth of plaid products. And it's going to be awesome. So, on the other side, what I decided to do was put the faith, family, and friends, and I had to cut it out in three separate sections. Now, to get in on this contest, you have to like everyone's video, and you have to comment on what their secret word is. And we're all going to give you a word that has to do with plaid. So, my secret word is going to be Admiral Blue because that is my favorite color that I used in today's video. It's a folk art, Admiral Blue, but you just put Admiral Blue in the comments. So make sure to like and comment with Admiral Blue. I took the Faith Family and Friends, and I tried to get it where you could see me putting it on. I couldn't place it down because the other side was still wet, so I just did the best that I could. I used my finger to get this to stick really good. And see, both sides, you can flip it around and do it opposite ways. So I cut down all the excess. Now it's time for the flowers. I put in some floral foam. And then I'm going to start off with some eucalyptus from Walmart. And, of course, whenever you're doing flower arrangements, you want to start with the tallest first. And this piece I didn't cut. I just spread it out, put it down right in the middle. And then I just started popping different colors in there. I did some more of the eucalyptus. I also used a color that's called anemone. And it was from Walmart. It's these blue color. But they called it anemone. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. Um, so I cut all of my flowers off individually because I find that it's easier to put it out there and that way you can get it exactly where you want it. The white flowers that I have are some beautiful little white daisies and I cut those off individually and just place them in random spots also. Then my red is some beautiful carnations. And I just kind of put anything in, you know, where I thought that it looked good. If I put one certain color on one side, I go to the exact opposite side and put the same flower in because it just looks better that way. I made sure to arrange my flowers with whatever side that is facing the front. It's going to look great. I topped it off with some pink berries that a very, very special subscriber sent me in a box. And look how beautiful this is. Both sides turned out great. DIY number four is going to be this cute little reversible tag that goes on your door. 
I have two of the little USA tag signs, and I took the stars off of those. Those are the stars that I've been using throughout these other DIYs. And then I'm going to take and just cut my dish towel right in the middle. I'm going to put a super heavy coat of Mod Podge down because we want this to stick really, really well. When I use heavier fabrics like this dish towel, I make sure that I use a pretty good amount of Mod Podge. And then I just lay my towel down exactly how I want it. I flip it over and I cut off some of the excess and then I'm just going to fold it over just like you do a Christmas present and I'm going to use my hot glue to secure it. After I did both of these, I had to make a hole in the centers, so I just took a good sharp X-Acto knife and I cut the holes out of both. I use some of my blue I Love USA fabric to cover the backs. I put some of my thick jute twine in the top as a hanger. Then I glued the top one to the bottom. And I sealed in the sides real good where I had cut off that I Love USA fabric. I went real simple on my bows. I'm going to make one for each side. I have some red ticking ribbon and I used it to just tie a simple shoestring bow that's going to go on the top and on the bottom I took where you just basically pinch your ribbon in the middle and that makes a bow. Then I dovetailed my ends, and you can flip this around on whichever side, and it is gorgeous. This is our last DIY. It's number five, and this is going to be a little hanger that you can hang up on the wall or on your door. I got one of the stars from Dollar Tree, and I've got some more of my... Fourth of July scarf. I'm going to put my Mod Podge down and cover my star really well and just lay my scarf down over it. Then I use my Mod Podge roller that I have and it helps to roll out the bubbles and get it really smooth. I let it dry totally and when I did, I just used a very sharp X Acto to get all the way around the edges of my star. I have four of the tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to glue those to the bottom and then I'm going to take the little blue truck from off of the welcome sign and I'm going to stick it right on the bottom. My sign says God bless America so what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress it a little bit and I distress it with my Waverly white. I also distress it with the Waverly Qu crimson which is the red. <laughs> crimson. <laughs> So funny. 
So I just take my little sign and I hot glue it to the top. Then I'm gonna take my antique wax and I am going to distress it just a little bit. I don't know what we would do with that Waverly paints, y'all. They are all made by plaid, which that's one of the reasons I'm very proud to be a plaid ambassador. So I take my white and blue ribbon, my little twine, and I go around my hands about 20 times, and then I tied it in the middle. We're gonna make another little firework again. I can call this my little firework bow. <laughs> So what I do is I just take my blue and white and I wound it around and I glue it down and then I do the same thing with the red and white, but you just make sure you glue them in opposite directions and you cut it and it looks like a little firework. I also added one of the little silver stars again and a little jute twine hanger. And that's it guys, this turned out cute as can be. Well, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope that y'all enjoyed my 4th of July collaboration. Guys, don't forget to go and watch everybody in the playlist. And don't forget to go to my channel. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can go see my craft room reveal. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Get him, Sabby, get him. Get him, Sabby, get him. Get him, Sabby, get him. Get him. Get him, Sabby. Oh, stop him.